What's up, cooking squad? It is your girl Tay, and I am back with another cooking video, y'all. Today, we are going to be making some stuffed bell peppers. All right, so right now, I have them burling on the stove. I'm gonna let them boil for about an hour. So, we are about to get started with our stuffing. But before we do, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you may be notified every time I upload a new video. So let's get started. All right guys, we are about to get ready to make this stuffing for our bell peppers. Um, I have my pot getting hot here and I'm gonna add a stick of butter. This is the unsalted one. Gonna let our butter melt. All right, y'all. So now that our butter is all melted, I'm gonna add in some ground. I add this one for a little while. Get in there. So this is about two pounds of ground beef. It depends on how many red peppers you make. Add in some seasonings. I have some garlic powder. But y'all probably know, already know what I'm about to add because you gotta add my go-to seasoning. Garlic powder, some onion powder, and I'm gonna add in some seasoning salt and some slap your mama. And I am going to add a little bit of minced garlic. I'm going to add in a little, more, a little bit more onion powder and garlic powder. And a little bit more seasoned salt. So guys, our ground meat is all nice and brown. Now I am going to drain it with my little chop here. I just pop, lock, and drop it. All right, so now that our um, ground meat is all nice and drained, I'm gonna add in some ham which is for seasoning. So I am going to add in some crawfish tails, which is optional as well. I'm just gonna add those in there. It's just a half a pack. If I use half of them for my gumbo that I made on yesterday. So if you didn't see that video, you can go and watch that one as well. And I will link it down in the description below for you guys. I add in a little bit of Creole seasoning. A little bit more Creole seasoning. As but not least, we're gonna add in some shrimp. Now that our shrimp are fully cooked, we are going to start adding in our breadcrumbs until our stuffy mix is nice and stuck together. This is going to help our stuffing to stick together when we add it to our bell peppers. Add in some more breadcrumbs. Now 
it's getting a little thick. But not thick enough. Starting to stick together. And add some more background. Add a little bit of cayenne pepper as well. Just a little bit. Just to give it a little a little kick. I added a little bit of water to mine. Just like a little bit of moisture. When I add my breadcrumbs, please make sure you taste your stuffing and make sure you have enough seasoning in there. Just a little bit more water and a little bit more breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs is used as a seasoning as well because it is the Italian style breadcrumbs. guys since we have all of our bad peppers all nice and stuff we are going to top them all with some breadcrumbs just gonna sprinkle the breadcrumbs on top of all of them and it made 12 so I have six in this pan six in that pan and then I'm just going to top it off with some butter just so it can have that golden brown look to them this is optional you don't have to add the butter but I'm adding butter to mine <laughs> So guys, our stuffed bell peppers are ready, fresh out the oven, and this is the finished product. And so let me show you what I did with the rest of the stuffing. I just put it in the pan, topped it with some breadcrumbs and some butter, and baked it for a few minutes. And this is the other pan. Yeah, so there's our bear peppers, you guys. So 
So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you made this dish. And let me know how it came out. And if you did anything differently with it. And again, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next cooking video.